Hello everyone, this is Satvik and welcome to the 9th episode in Linux Privilege Escalation series and in this video I am going to show you how you can escalate your privileges through the help of network file sharing. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. First of all, really really thank you guys for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to be part of my community where you can ask your doubts or uh, if you want any updates regarding the content that I'm going to post on, on this channel. So you can check out my Discord server. The link is in the description below. So guys, in the previous videos, we discussed a lot about a lot of close escalation series. And this is going to be the end video. So like uh, these are the most used to escalation techniques you can call so kernel exploits we discussed about kernel exploits sudo suid capabilities uh, cron jobs path and, and so right now we'll be discussing about nfs network file sharing and i made a small kind of notes guys so this is this is like kind of a cheat uh, cheat series or anything like that so uh, cheat sheet kind of thing so i'll leave the link for these notes also in the description below but uh, and also this room uh, as always it is for free i'll leave the link for this room also in the description below so let's discuss about this network file sharing so network file sharing is a kind of feature in which you can share some kind of locations so let us it can be a slash temp or a slash home slash sapphic or any location on your linux or any machine to the other machines in your network so it's some kind of shares kind of thing here so you can give access to some other uh, computers or laptops which are available on your network so that they can connect they can write read like all those are dependent upon the permissions that you give so that is what network file sharing is all about so so let's dive in this is a kind of easy thing only so let me copy this thing and uh, uh, let me connect on to my machine and guys you can see this is the connection uh, like a connection as a normal user so, so if I do a, who am i you can see karen so karen is a normal user so that's the thing and if you want if you are like uh, problematic with the credentials and stuff so karen is the username and the password is password one so this is like kind of uh, a normal access that we get to the machine so now let's start so you can see that all this configuration of this nfs is located at a location called as etc and exports so you can make note that down because it is quite important so etc and uh, exports so you can see that there are a few locations here so you can see these are the locations and you can see there is some kind of uh, uh, a bracket here where you can see some kind of features like rw means read and write you can see sync so it will sync to the machine like we were trying to do etc like that like it's a kind of sync and also there is an important option called as no root squash so if you come back to this here and you can see that no root squash in the sense like what happens is like so it is mostly given it's a kind of privilege uh, to a share or a location is given uh, mostly to a writable share so writable in the sense like you can create files or anything like that and here you can give i can create a file and you can give an suid bit you can set an suid bit like it's a kind of read write executable permission like you can set like an suid like ch mod plus s and you can give the fine name so and we all know what, where this suid is going to uh, lead like you can just abuse that okay and you can get the uh, root privileges and if you haven't if you don't know about this suid and stuff i already made a detailed video on that i'll leave the link for that in the description you can do check that out so uh, let's start it's kind of simple so let me copy this ip address once again so we need to do most of the stuff on uh, our uh, attack and machine itself so you can see there is a tool called as so let me open a new tab so show mount okay and uh, you can see uh, about this tool here so you can see if you don't know you can check out the guide that uh, that this task provides as the description below so it is going to be quite useful and helpful as well okay so you know in order to list all these mounts or shares uh, thing like that hyphen e is an option and you can see we got some few locations here and we also were able to see that home backup so this folder is having a no root squash thing and even this temp is having some no root squash uh, like all the locations which are given here are having this kind of no root squash thing uh we'll try to focus on this slash temp okay so that is where we'll be working on or you can work on any folder because all are having this no root squash privilege so now let's come back and you can see that uh, we need to create a directory and we need to mount the directory to this particular uh, target machine. So let's go and let's do that. Uh, 
so let's go to slash cd uh well, let's create a directory here uh exploit directory okay and if you do an ls you can see there is a directory here exploit so the command is simple so mount uh hyphen o uh read and write you don't need to remember all these commands guys like uh if you know what tool to use then you can simply search in google and you'll be good to go so you need to provide the ip address like read and write are the permissions you need to provide the ip address of the target machine okay and also to the which location since i'm focusing on uh, what you call temp so i'll give i'll be giving this slash tmp folder so uh let's go and uh, let's paste this ip uh slash tmp and uh, let's add this exploit folder So then guys, once I uh, mounted that and if I do, if I navigated to this exploit directory and you can see if I do an ls, you can see what are all the files that are located in this temp directory. So I did a quick ls into this temp directory and you can see there are some files which are something kind of configuration files or some temporary files. I can, I was able to see the same files here as well. So what we're going to do is like we'll be creating a normal payload. So the author has given us to create uh, this uh, particular uh, C file uh, which can be used for uh, privilege escalation kind of thing and we need to convert that and let's do this all these things guys i created a small uh, uh exploit so like it's a kind of what it does is simple so it sets the guid so uh, gid so group id to zero so which is for root and uh, uh, and the user id for root is also zero and we are requesting for bin slash bash so with the high privileges and stuff and uh, that is a simple script uh, like what we need to do is like we need to execute that okay so let we need to convert this particular thing to uh, thing and also guys if I do an ls here you can see that there is an exploit.c here and if I do a, a same ls here you can see there is an exploit.c again here. So what you can see is like this is how the network file sharing works okay so everything gets synced everywhere so that is what sync means okay so let's do that so gcc uh, exploit dot c and let's output that as uh, exp let's put it something like that you'll be getting some kind of errors but that's fine if you do an ls here you can see there is an exp here so uh, what you need to do here is like if you, if you uh, remember previously that if there is something called as no root squash you can give an suid bit here so we'll do that simply so ch mod uh, plus s and uh, let's give that to this exp so if I do an ls hyphen la and now you can see this exp is having a read write a pseudo bit as well as the executable writes. So now let's come back and uh, to this machine. So what you need to do is like you need to simply run this mesh, uh, run this particular script uh, on the target machine. Okay. So if I do an ls once again, you can see there is an exp dot slash exp. You can see we got root privileges like this is simple guys look what would it is like we uh, abused a functionality uh, which uh, has something like no root squash for the network files uh, sharing thing so that is simple guys like uh, create a directory mount that to the directory so that you can view all the stuff and etc like that and create a file okay uh, which is like an uh, a file like c uh, this file so file in the sense like an application program or anything like that you can call and uh, that is how we are able to uh, get the access okay as a root machine and now you can see if i do a who am i i think i don't need to do a who am i because you can see that uh, there is a root at the rate ip and the director etc like that so this is only for the temp guys but uh, if you go to this cat slash etc slash uh, exports you can see there are some other locations like for you can do this for home backup so like you can see almost all these are similar okay but sometimes you might be having issue accessing those folders because of the current privileges but tmp is a kind of uh, directory where every user can access it so my uh, assignment or work kind of thing is like try to do this on some other folder so this particular folder works so shared folder works so try to do that and try to escalate to the uh, from karen to root so that's how you can get practiced and stuff so that is it guys uh, for this video as well as for this series so i hope i had uh, taught you something new and uh, 
this uh, like this continue this, making this kind of series is also new to me i made a series on uh, burp suit but it's kind of uh, a rip off from my uh, udemy course so i just downloaded the videos that i uploaded on the udemy and i just posted on the youtube so this is the thing and in future i'm also making uh, looking forward to make uh, this process creation series for windows as well as for uh, i'm looking forward to create a playlist for uh, active directory penetration testing so uh that's it and also guys uh the small challenge here is like there is a capstone challenge here so this is kind of interesting here so my goal is like after complete completion of all these stuff all these uh things so try to do this uh i'll try to post the answer for this like it's going to be simple only so so that is it guys uh and really thank you for watching this video as well as this series and i'll be back again with a new video thank you